this is a week four video. Uh, if you're taking a class and you're in an earlier week, uh, go ahead and skip this video until week four. Uh, at this point, we're, we're looking at uh, harmonies, triad and tetrad, uh, and we've been talking a great deal about this precise uh, application of the hue, so that in this case, we see the primary examples. We're seeing that they're 120 degrees apart. And, and so, why do we need to have that sense of consistency uh, is an important question and, and something that uh, if it's not being asked it really should be asked at this point point. and part of why it's so important is that when you have a color application you want people to identify you know that that sense of unity that a harmony provides and, and when you have this kind of level of control we, we have options that make things much quicker. So if we go to image adjustments, again, hue saturation tool, we should be very familiar with this at this point. Something that's available to us, you know, once we have our initial harmonies, we've, we've created our, our palettes, we can shift these. So say I wanted to make this uh, like a red orange hue 15. I could type in 15 here. And what we see is that it shifts the hue it also shifts this one. So it maintains the consistency between the three hues. They're still equally spaced, but we have a slightly different version. Uh, let's do something that looks, uh, has a little more of a dramatic difference in hues. So let's go to 45. So we're now at a yellow orange. We can see it here. We can see uh, our green cyan here and our blue magenta at 285. That consistency is maintained. We have one palette. We've recreated it very quickly. Uh, the only thing that you would need to consider in this is that the, the transition to gray, it's very versatile. So you have the lighter grays, you have the constant value, you have the darker values. Those are something that you need to consider whether you want to incorporate them. And that's where an assignment like assignment three from week one comes into play is that you can take an individual hue. Once you have the correct assignment completed, uh, maintain the monochromatic, you can switch it and you don't need to type in numbers. You know, if there's something you need specifically because of temperature or something, you know, it, it helps, but you can kind of just explore the variations and you can go back and forth and really look at what do I want? Do I want these darker hues from the reds? Do I want some lighter hues from the cyan? You know, what what do I need? There's there's the ability to be very precise. You know, if we you know if we want, say I wanted yellow, if I wanted the secondaries, I could just type in 60, and now this hue zero becomes hue 60, 120 becomes 180, and you can see it, it it's just basic math things that the, it, the software does for you and you don't really need to have to think about it at all. Uh, but you know, with one triad, you now have access to all of them and all of them very quickly uh, because you can just kind of rotate through. And, and what's great is, you know, if you have something where you have all the color harmonies together, now obviously this isn't all of them, but just the same way that you saturation tool we can shift them and we can look through all the variations that are available. So, you know, maybe when you're thinking about design and you're thinking about what Hermes you want, you could first kind of go through here and say, you know, something catches your eye and, and you say, well, that's something I like to do right there. That can give you a starting point that can help you understand some of the options. Now, obviously, the Tetrad has many options because it's two sets of complements. Uh, so you, you really have to kind of consider them independently because there's no one fixed Tetrad. It, it has a much greater versatility than complements. You know, there, there's basically 180 different sets of complements, you know, half the color wheel. Uh, and so it, it, it doesn't have that same limitation. You know, monochromatic, there's 360 different options there to pick from. Uh, but in the Tetrad, that number is kind of exponentially growing because the sets of complements can be independent of each other. You can set it at to where they're 90 degrees apart and that kind of gives you one option, but those two different sets of complements, very versatile. Split complementary triad, you know, roughly, uh, the triad is limited to about 120 degree, 120 different options. The split complementary has that same versatility because you can adjust that split. Do you want it to be closer? Do you want to be further apart? The analogous uh, really just kind of a very high number of options because you can pick so many different hues here. Uh, hopefully this helps understand why you know when we've been looking at these harmonies we're looking at very specific hues and that way because it clearly identifies the harmony and allows for lots of variations very quickly.